You know when you just feel like your life is all over the place and you just want to get organized and get your life together? That's where Notion comes in. Today I'll be showing you my Notion setup and how I use Notion for every area of my life. As you guys know, I like to maintain a good work-life balance and I like to slow down. And my Notion setup is definitely a reflection of that. I've been using Notion for two years now and it's my favorite digital organization and planning tool. And because it's so easy to customize, my Notion setup feels like my cozy digital space. And with that, let's just get straight to it. The first page that I use most of the time is called In The Clouds. Most people, most normal people anyway, would call this their personal homepage or their main dashboard. Obviously, I'm a bit extra and I always like to give things names if I can. So this is basically just my main landing pages with links to most of my other pages. So because this is the page that I go on to most of the time, and this is actually the page that opens whenever I open a new tab on my browser, I like to make this page look as inspiring as I can. And I want it to be something that reminds me of not only my goals but the way that I want to live. So at the top of the page I have this little text box with live intentionally, find meaning in the little things, create magic, have fun and explore and that's basically just the way that I want to approach life as a whole. And then I have soul written at the end as well because that's my word for 2021. So then I have dashboards which is basically links to any pages which aren't just list pages. They're pages that are either database or pages which have sub pages if that makes sense so for example if I go onto books this is basically a database of all the books that I plan to read or have read with reviews and summaries of them as well and I actually took this template from Ali Abdul so I will link that in the description below um, if I go back to my home page I also have a section for fitness and again when you click onto fitness it opens up links for other pages so I have yoga, gym, hit and running. I'm not going to go through all of these but for example if I click onto yoga it brings up a gallery of different poses and I can filter between views as well. I still need to add to this, I've not been that great with it but it's just a great way for me to practice different poses. And when I scroll down I also have links to different flows that I really enjoy doing online and you can actually open the link and it'll take you directly to the video. And this is something that just saves me time and just keeps all of my favourite flows on YouTube together in one place. As well as fitness I also have a section for cooking and recipes which is one of my favourite sections. Again it's in gallery view but you can toggle the switch to look at other things so right now I've just got vegetarian options as well. And this is something I really enjoy having. This is so important when you start adulting because I feel like cooking is one of the hardest things to get into. I also of course have a section for self-care so this section again needs to be added but I've got things like confidence, skincare, wardrobe and beauty and within all of those I just have different things so for example within confidence I just have quotes or videos that have helped me with confidence personally that I might want to refer back to over time with my wardrobe section I basically have a gallery view of outfits that I really like I feel like I always buy clothes but have nothing to wear so I really want to get into the habit of trying to build a capsule wardrobe where I have clothes that I just genuinely love wearing and I really would love to be more minimalistic with everything so I'm trying to like just reduce the amount of clothes that I buy and I feel like by having this it just reminds me of the style that I like and it really helps when I think about what clothes I want to buy. And then I also have a dashboard for learning Hindi because that's something that I really want to do. I probably will go into depth on that in another video. So then these links are all to do with more simple list formats so if you click on it it just takes me to a page that has a list of things. I'm not going to go through each one but I have a buckle list which I'm going through in another video. I have one for movies and TV shows that I want to watch. I have a shopping list so every time I want to buy something I put it on this list and then I don't buy it straight away I wait for at least a week if not longer and then I shop more in one go and decide what I really want to spend my money on. I also have one for days out so whenever I'm going out with friends just like date ideas basically and then I have a travel list, gratitude list and then just a space for any random notes. So then on the right of this I basically have goals and affirmations and a dream board so if I click on this it takes me to my personal dream board. I'm actually just showing you templates right now because I feel like goals and dreams and all of that stuff is really personal. So this is actually an edited version of my goal list and the dream board is just a template that I made just to give you an example. But I just like the idea of having a digital dream board because it's something I can change um, and it's something that I look at every single morning just to inspire myself. In terms of these goals I actually write all of my goals in affirmation format because I just think it's more positive and if you click on these it's a drop down menu 
so it will give more affirmations within that goal. And then if you scroll down, I have my task list and my reminder list. So my task lists are just things that need to be done ASAP or done that week. And then I have reminders which don't necessarily need immediate action, but need reviewing every now and again. So I could very easily have things like a weekly planner or a daily planner on Notion. I used to do that, but I found that I just prefer the feeling of writing things out. So I like using a combination of Notion and a daily planner because I just find it really helpful to have all of my to-dos on here, review them every Sunday, and then write in my daily planner. And then I have a photo that I've just found on Pinterest to put in there. Like I said, because this is like my main dashboard and something that comes up every single time I open up a new tab, I want it to look inspiring and something that makes me feel happy to look at. On the right of that, I have a list of things that I want to incorporate into my everyday life to basically be more fulfilled. And it's just a reminder to myself of things that I should be fitting in and making time Time for. So it includes movement every day, fresh air and sunshine, photography and videos, reading, cooking with joy and not just that feeling of cooking because you have to make food, learning languages, drawing and painting, writing, quality time with people I love and fun and games. And then underneath that I have a widget. I got this widget from an external website but it basically shows me my progress of the year, month and life if I live to the age of, I think it's 85. So I actually got inspired to use this widget because I saw a photo on Pinterest that really inspired me to have a setup like this. If I find the photo, I'll link it in the description below. And then when you scroll down, I have this table that I created, which basically is my ideal week. Obviously, I don't follow this rigidly. It's just something that I like to think about when I'm planning for my week. And then my next main page that I use all of the time is content and that's basically all to do with YouTube. It's heavily inspired by Thomas Frank's setup so I'm going to link his video in the description box as well. So I basically made a table first so if I go on to table overview this is the first thing that I created and it's basically got the name of the video, what platform it's going on to so whether it's YouTube, Instagram or whatever else, the status. So status is basically whether it's idea, I'm scripting, filming, editing, if it's scheduled or published, publish date and whether it's complete and then any extra notes that I need. So I actually never look at it from this view. Everything that was in that table can be seen in a calendar format and it just helps me decide what videos are coming out on what day. And then the other view that I use most of the time is the Kanban board and this basically shows me the progress of each video. And the beauty of this is you can easily just move videos around as they go through each next stage. So one of the best parts is that as well as being able to move everything around around if I click on the card it will actually bring up a page and this is where I plan the entire video. You can also have pages within this which is where I've got research, editing and publishing and this is actually a template within itself so whenever I create a new video rather than having to copy and paste everything into a new video I can just click template and every time I create a new video it's all there but this has just made planning content so much more easy and flexible because I sometimes change my ideas around and then my last page is called Concepts and this is really one of my favorite pages. And again, it's heavily inspired by Ali. I think he had a video called Building a Second Brain and that's what inspired me to create this. The idea is that for anything that you consume that resonates with you, whether it's books, articles, videos, podcasts, or even things like quotes, you basically put it into some sort of digital note-taking system and that way you store ideas on somewhere that's just not your brain. And what that means is later when you need to access your thoughts, you just have somewhere to go and it means creating becomes really easy. I won't go into this too much, but I do highly recommend that you watch Ali's video on it because it's probably my favorite video of his. So the way I approach this is every time I come across something that resonates with me, I put it straight onto here or sometimes I put it on my iPhone notes if I'm not already on my laptop and then I just transfer it here. So I have the topic, so I'll just give it a general name. General category that it's under so I've got different types of categories here like productivity finance content creation relationships yoga skincare basically everything and anything that I can think of I have a source which if I click on it will take me to the link that I originally saw the content on um, I can also have files so I tend to upload a lot of PDFs like research papers onto here and then I also have a quick summary in the overview section but I can also click on the topic and open it up as a page which is where I have more in-depth notes about it um, again I don't want to complicate things but 
but I also have a relation. So I can click here and link to any books that I've read. And in that way, everything is kind of connected. And that's why I think this is so powerful. So that's just a quick overview of my setup. If there's anything that you want to see in depth, then just comment down below. Like I said, I used to change my systems for planning and organizing all of the time, but my love for Notion has been going on strong. Obviously this isn't sponsored in any way, although, oh my God, that would be such a dream. I just think Notion is such a great way to help people get their life together. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out my video on setting goals with the DART system and keep intentional and go create some magic in your life.